I wanted to have some fun torture testing our cooler here. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Cooler Master Master Liquid 240L Core White. I did receive this cooler from Cooler Master directly, but I want you to know that any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. On the back side, you'll notice some key features for this particular cooler. And we have our full spec chart here on the side of the box, very helpful and relevant information for you. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature consisting of our warranty information. This does come with a three year warranty. We also have our user guide and manual walking us through everything that's included. And then step-by-step -step setup instructions for Intel and AMD. You'll see that right there. So look at that, nice and long. Feel free to pause if you want to look at anything in more detail. We'll flip it over to the back side. Additional information for installation. So nice, helpful charts and diagrams. Pretty simple to install. Next, you'll see all that included hardware right here. Brackets, screws. We have our extension splitter cables there. Nice adapters. ARGB, everything we need. You also see we have CryoFuse thermal paste. We have our two 120 millimeter ARGB fans. They're identical to each other. 650 to 1750 RPMs. They look nice. And then lastly, you'll see the cooler itself with our radiator, everything attached together. Make sure to remove that sticker before use. Beautiful white finish. Cooler Masters logo on it. Looks great, really nice. Let's take a peek at the top. That cover looks sharp. The Master Liquid branding on there. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. All right, so we got the cooler installed. This case is a little bit unusual for this particular cooler, but I picked it because I wanted to have some fun torture testing our cooler here. So there's a look at it installed. Looks really nice. If you're wondering about the fans, I actually have them on the other side and it's configured to actually bring some cool air in through the radiator to have inside the PC. You'll notice this is a solid panel here, but look at that back. Down the back side, we have a slight sliver going all the way down for some fresh air intake. And I know, I know, I didn't do a good job cable managing there. That's fine. I was just being a little bit lazy to get this video out a little bit quicker, but that's a look at our PC with the cooler installed. You might be wondering too, this cap is removable. You can pop it off. So in case you want to install this the other way, you get the idea, then you can just rotate the cap. So it's saying master liquid and it's illuminated the correct way. But a nice cooler looks great. The white and black kind of just did that by accident, but I'm liking the aesthetic there of this Stormtrooper build. Here's a look at the backside. That is it for our nice air that's coming in to cool this PC. So you get the idea of what we're gonna be putting this thing through once we pop that front panel back on. All right, so how does this cooler handle under load? Well, currently it's been maxed out for the CPU and the GPU for over 10 minutes now. And you'll see that the CPU is being throttled. We're at our 95 degrees Celsius cutoff as expected there when we push this to 100% utilization. In regards to the GPU, you'll see that we're hovering right around 70 degrees Celsius, again at 99% utilization there. So that's gonna be stress under max low with a lot of heat building up in here. Again, I put it through the ringer with this torture test since we don't have a lot of nice, fresh, cool air coming in. It's mostly just that stagnant, warm air and a little bit coming from the sides and the bottom. So it's nice and warm coming out of this case. In regards to idle, just to give you a frame of reference for the numbers that you're seeing here, idle was around 42 degrees Celsius for the CPU and 39 degrees Celsius for the GPU. Again, just idling along with the panels on, no stress, load or anything. So this is what you can expect somewhere within that range with this setup, but if you're gonna have any Cooler Master case that has fantastic airflow, which is all of them, you'll be in great hands and you'll see even better temps 
and performance that we're seeing here. This is just kind of more of a worst case scenario for you guys to get a feel for what this cooler is capable of. So now let me share with you my final thoughts after using this cooler. I'm really happy with the price to performance. It looks great. It's working just fine for us here. And it comes with everything you need, whether you're team red or team blue. We have AM4 and AM5 support, as well as LGA 1700 and 1200 support. Plenty of cords, cables, miscellaneous things included that will help you too with connecting your RGB as well as multiple fans. So really pleased. It's a complete kit and cooler not going to break the bank and it's going to look really cool and be a nice focal piece and show point in your build.